oftentimes we think about yeah oftentimes we think about um the paint colors we want and we think about how we want the room to look but we don't realize that the sheen of the paint or the type of paint that you use like whether it's satin flat eggshell gloss all of that has an effect on the final design or the final look in the room Hi guys, I'm just coming to you today with a very quick video on the five different paint types and how they can affect the design or the look of a room or really I guess um, which paint type is better in which location in your home in order to have the best design. So today I was driving home and um, I was thinking about repainting the ceilings in the house. And so I know you think about the different home improvement, um, things that you're gonna do at your house on your drive home. So yes, we're just alike. Okay, so um, I was thinking about like my ceilings, um, cause I'm sitting in my living room and this is normally where I come to sit every day, but uh, you know, again old house you begin to get the movement and the settlement and so i see um, there are some cracks not in the sheetrock but in the second set of molding that's up so but they added a more decorative molding across the top of the room okay so that decorative molding across the top of the room in some places i can see like little tiny cracks between the ceiling and the molding now, for most people, they wouldn't bother them, but I see them. So because I see them, I want to do something about it. So I was driving home today and I was kind of thinking like, yeah, I think I want to go ahead and like get some caulk and, you know, do a little fix a -roo and then repaint the ceiling. But I was like, I don't have any paint for that. And the reason why I don't have any paint for that is because there are five types of paint and you use different finishes of paints for different parts of your home. So I would need a, um, like a matte or a satin, well really a matte um, paint in order to go through and do the seal. So first type of paint I wanna talk about is a matte or a flat paint. So your matte and your flat paints, they're like totally non-reflective surfaces. And so that's why they're good for the ceilings. Whenever you cut on a light, you don't want um, like that reflective light on your ceiling from your bulb. It's just not cute. Um, a lot of times we like soft lighting in rooms and you want that soft lighting appearance to also be like on your ceiling. You want it to illuminate the ceiling without having like this little round bulb there, kind of like what you see on the glass um, in the pictures behind me. So you would want a matte paint. Um, you don't want to use like this flat or matte paint on walls in your house unless you don't have any children and you don't have any pets walking through because that flat matte paint picks up a lot of um, dirt, dust, fingerprints, scuff marks. And so if you have like kids running through the house, like immediate scuff on the wall and you can't clean that surface as well as you can if you were to use a different finish of paint. So matte, flat paints, ceilings, unless you just, um, you have perfect people in your home that aren't gonna touch your walls. And I don't have that. Like I I believe my youngest child thinks that the walls are his napkin. The next um, paint type that we have is eggshell. So eggshell is it, it's not as non-reflective as matte, so it kind of has like a very light sheen to it, but um, it's a little bit easier to clean. Uh, it almost has the same kind of look, texture, appearance as an action. Okay, so um, this is really good for like hallways and bedrooms or even like a family room, but um, 
it's not going to be that highly reflective like when you cut a light on it's like it's like you know the light is um bouncing off the surface so it does allow light to travel around the room without it being a highly reflective uh, surface in the room. Um, so if you have like a lamp next to a wall, it's like the light is still soft up against that wall without it um, casting that light bulb shadow on the wall. And I wish I had to find a picture and put that over here, okay? The next paint finish that I would like to talk about is a satin finish. Now, satin is not as matte as eggshell and not as matte as flat or matte paint, but it does have just a little sheen to it. It does have almost like a pearl-like um, sheen to it. Like when you look at pearls and you see like the amount of reflect reflective light or sheen that you would get from a pearl, that puts me in the mind of how your uh, satin paints will look. Now, satin paints are good for more high traffic areas. So like you could use this satin finish on like kitchens, bathroom, um, kids' bedrooms, hallways. You could also um, clean this paint surface a little bit better. So it's also good to use for like interior doors and things like that. And so that's whenever, um, you know, you may choose to use this satin finish, more high traffic areas. And so think of like, when you're thinking about a satin um, paint, think about how often you touch your ceiling, that's your matte and flat. And then think about how often um, you'll have the wear, the tear, the bumping, like in a family room or a kitchen. And that's kind of like, um, not necessarily the durability of the paint, but that's kind of like the traffic that you would consider when trying to determine which type of paint you'll use. Next um, type of paint finish is semi-gloss. Now, semi-gloss does have the sheen, that like high sheen to it. And it is for your more high traffic areas. And semi-gloss, like the name, does have a gloss-like appearance to it. Um, it's not the highest level of reflect reflectivity, I don't even know if that's the word, or reflection, because it's not the um, glossiest of paints but it does have a gloss to it. So um, one of the things that I did in this room was I used eggshell paint at the top and then I used a high gloss at the bottom because I knew that um, I would have more opportunities for scuff and uh, touching and all of that on the lower part of the wall. And that semi-gloss is a lot easier to clean than the eggshell. Now the eggshell, I mean, um, with the type of paint that I use, and I think you all know from my videos, I use bare paint, like you can clean, you can clean it very well. Like I've painted murals on top of the paint and was able to wash the wall and take the paint off without taking off my eggshell paint. But um, it just makes it very easy, it's very durable when cleaning the walls with that semi-gloss. Let me get this phone call real quick. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so now, last but not least, um, I want to talk about high gloss paints. Now, high gloss paints, um, though these paints, I mean, like, oh my gosh, like they show every single imperfection, like the prep work needed to use a high gloss paint and also like a semi gloss paint is um, much more in depth than it is with using like a matte or um, 
an eggshell. Like when you choose to use that semi-gloss or high gloss paint, like every imperfection shows up. And it's also because of the way that that light is reflecting. Um, think about it uh, if you're looking at yourself in a dark room. Um, you go into a room, the room is dark, you cut the lights off. I can't see you and I can't see any of your imperfections. But once I cut that light on, it's like I can see, you know, you, your imperfections, whatever. So think of that like your paints as far as um, the matte to gloss ratio. Like if I have a room and um, my wall has had some repairs done or if um, there's some drip, paint drips on the wall that I don't want to be highlighted you know whenever i repaint this room then you don't use um a high gloss paint in order to paint that room or a semi gloss unless you're going to do the prep work to you know sand out those paint drips or make sure that if you're fixing the wall that you're properly sanding the wall and all of that because those high gloss semi gloss paints are going to definitely show all of the imperfections in the wall and in the work so that's just one other thing that you do want to be sure to consider when choosing um, your paint finishes. I think sometimes um, we think about remodeling a room and we think about the colors we want and how we want it to look, but we don't think about which types of paints to use and how the paints that we use are going to affect either the design or if not affecting the design, how it's going to, um, or even the final look of the room because of the sheen of the paint or how we've placed the lighting so that's just so for more inexpensive design inspiration be sure to come back on thursdays to spend your weekends with winnie